All right, let's see us live. And I don't see here a voice in my head. That's always good. So we've got a decent fleshed out here. I need to, f man. Ugh, I need to fix the glade. That's not going to be fun. That's going to be no fun at all. Probably should put some kind of light there. Welcome back. Alright, so we need to... I'm going to have to fix the glade. Dang trees. <laughs> I'm just not looking forward to this. I figured it was going to happen, but I'm like, nah, it'll probably be alright. Yeah, it's not alright. <laughs> it's kind of a little much. <laughs> oh, goodness. That sucks that we got to chop them down. I'm going to have to figure something else then for trees, because... Or go down really far to place them so the stump is down much, much further. Dang, this sucks. Wait a minute, can I... Before I do this, let, let me take the tree out. Like, just take the tree out? It won't. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> Let's chop our trees down. Oh, this hurts. Ugh, get over there. No, no, no. Don't take out the... Eh, let's just leave the amber on the ground. That's fine. Alright. I'll leave the twigs too. Heck with it. All the care and the work we did on these trees, then we have to nuke them. Alright. I guess we'll go to shrubs and things like that instead. Well, with this out, let's go ahead and do the fencing we were going to do originally. Why are you being a jerk? Really? Just because there's a slight hill there, you're like, nah, fam. But you'll actually, nope, that's exactly what I wanted. Though. I like that. That's sweet. I like that. Can we replicate that again? Make it look like it's really coming down off of here. Thank you, sir. Appreciate to have you back. All right. We could really have it like come in like this, though. Let's make it look like it's all messed up. All right. It sucks that we have to take these trees out, but say la vie. It sucks worse having them stick into the dang place above them so much. Alright, can I get this without whacking everything else? Nope! Oh, that, that sucks. No, stop hitting it. Okay, there we go. 
I'm gonna leave all the little. I've submitted my bill for the Halloween competition to nowhere extensive years, but it matches the theme. Hey man, that's all that matters. They they literally said that they're they are going to pick five at random. So no matter how I don't know how to say this, no matter how poorly one thinks that they build, you should still enter. And I, who knows, maybe even not at random, you may find that your build is more in line with what they're looking for than you think. You never know. So it's always good. Let's see, which type do I have there? Okay, so let's do this one here. Don't you say not suitable. I just planted you. All right, well, now we're going to get a bush for that. Actually, what we're going to need is a couple of bushes. And, I mean, for it's fun anyway. You know, sub submitting a build is fun. It, it gives people something to do while we're all waiting and salivating over the prospect of what uh, for, uh, Update 4 is going to be. Alright, let's look to see what kind of, like, bushes and something we can put in there that might look okay. Yeah, the fire ceiling might be alright. Put, like, a couple of those. No, those get huge. No, not corn. Sugar cane doesn't look too bad. Let's pop one of these. There's no way to equip weapons to dummies at the mount, so I replace them as sides. Yeah, no, <clears throat> I tried the same thing. And with kind of mixed results. It looked okay. It, it wasn't bad by any stretch of the imagination. But it, it definitely wasn't... It, it definitely... You could tell that it was just something mounted to it and not a proper, like like a, a proper holding the weapon in his hand type of thing, whichever we're talking about, you know. Uh, let's do two of these. Where I got those? Yeah, Rubios has got a little bit of flowers on it. Do a couple of those. I'm still bummed. That I had to lose my trees. I get it, but still. Yeah, we could do uh, do one of those. Do a couple of these. And grapple's pretty once it grows. Yeah, no, it's 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 a lack of immersiveness. It's, um, is that even fair? I th I think, based off of the fact that we have these target dummies that look well, okay, they're not really target dummies. That we have these mannequins that can have poses and things. Why can't I have? You know, get so we've got this here. Open this up. So you have all this. Why not over here? have weapon slots that is whatever your choice is. So you've got a staff weapon slot. Now you could only pick whatever you're putting. You got daggers, you got wand, staff, one sword or one-handed, two-handed. And then you just pick whatever you put on there and it goes appropriately where it would be on each of the mannequins. I I like I think that'd be a great idea. Will the devs do that? I don't know. If they do, it's probably going to be on a different thing. I want them to add target dummies. I I think we need target dummies. Like, actual, proper, real target dummies. We I mean, Obviously, there's target dummies in the game. I'm talking about real target dummies that we can sit and attack it for a time period and be able to get numbers and figure out what is a better build, what weapon works better, just because the tooltip says 
like this. Just because the tooltip says all this, that doesn't mean necessarily that it, I mean, it is, we know it's the best weapon, but that doesn't mean necessarily that it's the best just because, oh, it's got all of this and it, it can double proc. Um, I, I would like to see that. It, it gives, I think, more of, more of a variety that would allow us to, to do more. And doing more, in my opinion, is never a bad thing. I, I think that's that's kind of an Achilles heel of a lot of games, is they don't allow more. Let's see about like that. And I think if they did allow more, I think you, you would see a lot of uh, a really interesting testing going on. We have the game these should make them available. Exactly. I mean, they're in the they're in this starter area. As soon as you come out of that cave, it's right there on the left uh, on um, Long Keep in Long Keep. So yeah, I mean, we've already got them. Just let them use us. Let us use them, Keen. Net. Actually, no, no. Let's do a tall one. Right there. Okay, so that was... I got one more tree over here. Let's do a nettle. Was it here? Where was it? I don't remember where it was. Was it up here? Apparently it was right there. Alright, let's grab this. Let's make a couple more holes. For a few more plants to Okay. Put a bell pepper up here. There you go. Alright, so this is a little bland over here. That grapple, that's a nice red color. That ought to be pretty. Okay, so let's take a look here. So we come in, we've got... I think this bank over here needs to be much more flush with uh, the flowers. Let's put in a berry bush. Thank you very much. And then... Alright, let's get these twigs up. Let's do. We'll do the Kindle Waste Flower. Okay. So that would make that one really nice, and this one's going to be pretty decent. I might put another one there. So then we got around here a little bit. I think this is a little light on it. We got two more things if we want to place just those. So. So it's not as nice not having the trees. I, I'm I'm shocked because I thought that was gonna be high enough for those smaller trees. I was wrong. Cut a lot of wood off of those things. 
All right, let's let those grow while we do some other stuff. I don't know how much you saw. Um, you were not here yesterday, correct, Jasper? But were the day before? I don't remember if you saw this side. But I got a bathroom set up. We got a... This is all, like, the workers' side or the, the military side or whatever. We got wall lockers. And then a communal shower. Still got to do all the details, like adding all those small small things to it. This I'm still working on up here. The range, obviously. I started the balcony. I have not finished it yet. Got our big, big boy columns in. Got some extra light for the mess hall, which is pretty well done. I love the little... Uh, uh, bar stools that I got. Nice little other seating area over here. We've got a keg in the wall with a uh, turn handle so you can uh, pour them out of this thing right here by my head into your cups. Of course the the plate would display that Ketmall came up with. And then I put this in to kind of look like a grill. One of the parts of it's hiding over there. The other one is hiding up under there. I have this uh, kettle sticking over the handle that sticks up. But yeah, it turned out turned out real nice. I've got to do a lot of things to it, like add um, what are they called the trophies on the walls, and you know dress it up a little bit. And then we got the print. Um, I don't know how much you saw this. This is the barracks that I have a lot of work to do on. There's a little his and her captain's quarters or something. I don't know what you want to call that. And then the prison, or the jail cell, I should say. We've got a, an unused jail, and then we got that dude that we kind of let him rot on the wall. Maybe we lost the key. Put this in the wall last night. Use it as like... So the idea is you flip this lever... And it pneumatically locks the doors, whichever one, or both. And then this thing actually manually cranks the door open. That's that's the, the idea I'm going for on that. Then you got your prison guard, your uh, captain of the guard sits there and waits for them, and all that jazz. So, this is what we're working on tonight. Oh, and I did this. I'm not happy with the light color of that roof tile but it does its purpose you know it gives us a light well and that it, it finishes out nicely all right so we got three mannequins for gear we do need to do some kind of a railing over here what have I got on me crypt is awful tall unless I go down and I can't go down Let's do... Let's do iron. We'll do it snapped. We won't do it snapped because I can't get it even if I do it snapped. I still like that then. That's fine. There we go. Alright. So that gets us that little bit. Where'd it go? Here it is. That gives us decent service there. And we can even do a little bit of treatment to the edges. So that's there. We can do the corner. And the end. And that will look just fine. Very nice. So it gives us a look similar to this guy right here. In fact, we could actually do that the same.
And there we go. So now we got the same on both sides. It looks nice. It looks smart. Right. So now we got to set our lanes for these guys. Okay, this is too much. I think I want two, one on either side. I think I want to put them back towards the end. So, just like you would have bowling lanes set up. Okay, so you would want to be able to get past people when they're sitting here doing their attacks. Question is, do I want to do it like this? I don't know. We'll take a look at it, see what we think. Definitely going to have to put some light for doing this. You know, since this is more of a range, it does actually make s no, wrong button. It does make sense to have light right at the end. Oh, but then they might actually shoot that. Okay, so how about light right here? Yep, that kind of works. Alright, so let's get these guys. I think I want to do some kind of a banner back here too. So let's do that. Give enough room for a banner to show well. Alright, so then same kind of jobby. Maybe... That's about right. Alright, so now we got our target guys. Ah, I got an idea too. So we would have a line, like, don't cross this line, so when you're attacking... What should we make it? We could do it this way, and you just have a solid black line. We could actually make it right, like, across this and across that. Like, you're, you're supposed to attack without uh, going through the line. Yeah, but how, you, how do you do melee, then, if I do it like this? Because you're not going to come up and fight like this. You have nowhere to swing your weapon. Maybe I need to have another one over here and have it just melee, or maybe... Maybe I change the way it is. This guy is in here, and that's what you attack magic. Then that dude's out here without this all up. And that's what you attack with melee.
Yeah, so then we would do maybe... Alright, if we do that... <laughs> we're going to have a stripe in the... Okay, let's go back one, and it'll be right over the wall, and nobody will notice. That looks weird anyway. Why isn't it showing black? Since this is directly over a wall, nobody will even notice downstairs. Alright. So now you have your line. You're, Don't cross this line when you're wand attacking them. So I want to change positions. I want this guy out here because he's look like he's ready to brawl. And this guy's like, don't attack me. here and you're scared because they're attacking all right so then we're going to do like the arrow wand staff type of stuff over on this side then melee will have over here set up I kind of like this angle I'll bring it closer to the wall have a couple pieces angled and they will be for attacking this dude. Something like here. So then if we did this... I hate when it does that. Of course you went backwards. No, that's fine, because that's, that's actually probably kind of how it should be. Pick it up, grab it, and rock, rock over, and whack-a-mole. Give me that. Let me take the light. That's so irritating. Try it like this. See if it looks better. Now it sticks out way too far. <laughs> oh man. Better. Okay. So now I just need like a one for a sword and then maybe a stand for the daggers. And then come over here and whack that dude. And we'll have a couple of these. A uh, wand and like maybe a stave over there. And then different armors that you can put on to, uh, to do your attacks. So, let's see. If we're going to have these along here. Maybe these they'll pick from over here. Like I'm angled over there, but I think over here that doesn't work very well. Unless I just did it like... And 
then this one. Like this. Do one either side. And we got the wand boy, which is the same as what I've got. I just got to remember which one not to put there. So then maybe I'll stick a wand like right here, and then maybe we'll put a staff over here. I want to put it behind. I, that's another thing we need is we need to be able to put weapons vertically. Because I could mount a wand right there, and I could mount a staff right there that they could use it and just whack. Okay. Could do it like this. sure I have my my actual wand okay good wait yeah yeah fully upgraded all right so we need to get a second wand, and then I need to get a staff one right here so you have your choices to attack for range and then when you get a couple melee and you have attack choices to attack for melee to um, We need to come up with some banners. I think even the medium's gonna be too big. Medium might work. Just give us a little bit of flavor. But then again, the war banners kind of make sense there. we have a green one? We do. I don't remember which one of these. Are they all the same? I think they're all the same. I got an idea for that too. Uh, we need to go over here and get more weapon mounts. We need a second wand. No, wand. Do something fairly basic, like maybe this frozen core. Staff just holds sideways, right? From the base. It's one handed melee. Daggers. Staff, shield, action sword, two-handed. Oh, I got the two-handed. Okay, so we need a staff. We need to pick a staff. I think we should pick the hollow halls. Wait, does this have do they have a hollow hall staff? I don't even remember now. Yeah, let's just use this one because it's fancy. We have Okay, so pick your wand Staff is huge So it's going to be kind of like 
that. I mean, that's not too bad. Gives plenty of room there. I think I think that works. Uh, one-handed, then we'll put daggers at the end. I didn't grab a one-handed. Or any daggers. <laughs> oh, man. Let's spread these a little bit more. Okay, now the banners. How tall was this one? It's pretty tall. The idea being I would do something like... Or should I have it back there? I think that gets the point across. It'll all be hidden inside there. Might even get a second one for that. Alright, so let's look at the big boy banners. How bad is it? Don't know, because the camera, I can't see. If that's it, it's barely perceptible. Yep, that is it. It is barely, barely perceptible. I could even fix that by going up into the ceiling just a hair. Of course, then you wouldn't see that cool thing. Now, should I put one behind him or not? I don't know, it seems like a little overkill having one here too. Have to move my lantern. Um not against it. I might widen this a little bit. Seems a little choked in there space wise. Okay, let's I gotta move this. No. Really? I'm standing up here and you're trying to get me into that? No. Thank you. We're going to put that back, but we're going to put it a little higher. And I am going to move this whole thing over a little bit. Maybe these encroach on the inside of it then. Or I can move this one over. That's an awful big space even for melee. Will you be swinging around maybe? That maybe that makes sense. Alright, let's just take this side. Alright, so let's go to like... There. Damn 
Okay. Hate to have to resort to that, but I can't see where I'm placing this. Okay. We're really going to have to resort to stuff. All right, that's better. All right, let's try this again. Get him moved. And then reset the display stands for the weapons a little bit. It seems weird not having this one centered between the two, <clears throat> excuse me, centered between the two flags, uh, sorry, banners. But I think we'll be okay. Alright, so now these guys can move in, cheese in a little bit, and it will look a little better. about like that I mean that's pretty close okay This is more like out here, like that. Ish. I mean, close. Alright. So that's not too bad. So they get their choice. They can do wands, they can do bow, they can do staff, and attack that target dummy. Now let's go get daggers and a sword. Or daggers and a one hand. Preferably sword since we have a pole axe. You know what I, th I I should do, if if I can do it, is make the conveyor belt for this by putting fencing right along the center of this on the inside, buried. Might be a little tough to pull it off, but it'd be cool if I can do it. I see one handers on this side. Ooh, we could do this. That'd be an interesting thing to have on there. That we have for the king, so we're not going to do that. Of course, as a practice sword, this actually... Let's take that with us, because this is probably going to be a little too flashy. The whole idea is it's just practice. They're just... Um, oh, yeah. Two-handers over here. They're just practice dummies, so it wouldn't be... expensive. You know, it'd be your basic type of stuff. Blunt knives, that's perfect. Uh, before we go, how much space do I have? I have some. Let's uh, look about getting a couple armor sets to put on the stands. One, uh, we have three, so we do want to do one of each. Reasonably low level, nothing fancy, maybe? Yeah. I like this for, uh, 
the mage. You are too fancy. I like this. No, no. I only have two more spaces. I'll come back for the other set. We'll figure out something for melee. Some crude weapons would look better. You could borrow some from your neighbors. I mean... Yeah. Because, like I said, I mean, it's this This is just their, their range. It's not going to be... Although, uh, the reason I did this and that and the one on the left is because it is hollow halls. They are literally hollow halls pieces. And it's... That's would be actually accurate. That's how they would put that. Okay, so that... Eh, just whatever. We do that. That, that definitely, uh, having it be a, a fairly basic sword works. This is a bit fancy, of course, but being the hollow halls, I kind of like... I want a pole, like a, an actual proper polearm spear type of jobby. I, I think we're, that's something we're missing in the game. Okay. Uh, let's do... Let's do mage in the middle, so we're splitting the difference between the two physical damage dealers. Ah, damn you. Now there's another thing in my... <laughs> I hate when it does that. Now the question is, which one did it steal it out of? Steal it out of this one? Or steal it out upstairs? Upstairs. Yeah. <laughs> it likes taking it from that one. Alright, melee. There's a lot that I like. I kind of like this one. Because I, do, I don't want them to be high-tier high armor. But something that looks good, you know? Tell you what, if Enshrouded ever properly gets the modding scene, assuming Keen can figure out... I mean, maybe they already know, and they're just waiting to put to finish the game before modding, but if they can figure out with their proprietary engine how to give us the tool set that we need to be able to do modding for this game, something they can support, something that uh, is functional for for further updates if they continue to update it past 1.0 like DLC expansions etc my god I mean I could honestly see this and I know this is blasphemy and people are gonna like they're gonna be like that's it unfollow I I could see it being bigger than Valheim ever could be and I know that's a tall that's that's a tall task and I love Valheim, don't get me wrong. I've got like 600 hours in Valheim. And then like 430 or something in this game. So it's it's not like I haven't played them. But I think Enshrouded has more potential than Valheim does. And that's that's not a knock on Iron Gate. They, they've done a fantastic job with Valheim. And it holds will always hold a special uh, kind of position in my heart. But I feel like Enshrouded offers more more and I don't I don't think more to do is the right term for it but but there is there definitely is more to do 
I, I just I just could see this becoming the kind of powerhouse that Valheim I don't know, man that's even hard to say because Valheim is a powerhouse I don't know I, I don't know exactly how to explain it without sounding like I'm bashing on Valheim because I'm totally not I just could see this being bigger with modding uh, down the road okay so let's see I think, as as just a basic setup, until we really flesh out the little bitty details, I think this is good. So we've got a, a ranged target here. Oh, ooh, we didn't finish. Now we did. So we got a ranged target here. We got a melee target here. We can decide on the particulars as far as weapons later. One hand, two hand daggers. I did do two bows just because this one looks like a practice bow, whereas this one is the hollow halls. That's weird. I could have swore we had a hollow halls bow, even though this one kind of looks like it is. Maybe, maybe that is, and I'm just dumb and I don't remember it. Maybe it is. Oh man. With the hands and all that. See, this is why we need vertical mounts and other kinds of things. Because I could see people sticking that out of the walls or out of the floors. Like you're walking across hands and things like that. I know people do it with the A bomb head. Alright, so we've got this mostly done. We've got this fleshed out reasonable. The bathroom's reasonably done. Let's work on this guy in here. So we've got one bookcase. This needs to be like maybe some storage under here. I don't like this bench here. It's too fancy. Let's see. We do need to do some kind of like foot lockers. And I think I've got an idea for that. They're off by a little bit. Well, I can fix that. Nope. Alright, so... Let's go get some boxes and see what we think. See if it uh, it's going to look good sitting there sunk down one, or if I really should have it just sitting at the edge of the bed. Now these guys would definitely have cheap. I'm thinking, I'm thinking medium here. Three, four. Let's go take a look and see what these look like. I can. I'll have to readjust the beds to be closer on point. And after doing this, I realized that uh, it's going to be really hard to get my... Yeah, I don't really have to adjust it. I can just do this. Wrong floor. There we go. Okay. Do I like it sunk in? It does look more like uh, a, a uh, foot locker now. Sunk down one. Of course the handle is inside the floor, but it does look better that way, I think. It's raining. I think, it, think it might be raining here. We could always use a little bit of that, that sweet, sweet rain. Down. 
go. Oh, this can be tough. <laughs> Oopsie. Crap. Oh, oh, there we go. Nice. There we go. I I wish they were shorter in depth, more like a like a box instead of a, a square container. But I like how it looks like they're foot lockers. So that works for me. I like can dig that. So you need a fireplace. I'm gonna flip this bed around. Like this. Do kind of like that, and then I'll put something over here, cabinet wise or something. Alright, so I need some kind of a cabinet. We can go there. We need a fireplace. And then over here. Maybe a bookshelf along here or something. Some kind of cabinet as well. Let's see what I can borrow from this area first. Crude wooden cabinet might work for one of those spaces. Honestly, that's a good spot to put a workbench in one of those places. Nope, nope, nope. Hmm. This could be an extra cot that is just sitting underneath the staircase if I if it fits. I don't think that's gonna fit. That's not, there's no way. Okay, so in the other room maybe it could be a table. Okay, so table for that one and then this bookshelf for the other one. I'll just put something on unless I do some kind of a... What else could we do? Let's go take a look upstairs. See, one of them could have a chair. So that's the crude. There's this thing. Or I could do double for that. Let's take this just to see what we think about it. And I need a fireplace. There you is. Do we do the basic one? Or the better one? 
do the basic one. Alright, let's grab some things we can start doing for storage. I honestly feel like uh, these guys could work as storage because you never know when you need to put up fencing. In fact, I do like that idea. And you can never go wrong with boxes. Some let's take a bigger stack, some barrels. And that. Oh, I just thought of something. If we can kind of obf obfuscate it, we could use this trampoline down near the very bottom to not have to worry about having the grapples. Figure out some way to kind of make it so you can't really see it. Uh, I'll have to figure something out. Something that goes over it that's transparent uh, to us like a, um, like a banner is, except we can't lay banners flat and rugs are not transparent. So, uh, we'll, we might have to get creative on that, but that could be cool. It could be a way to get up from way down low in the cent central, cha central chamber without having to have the grapples. Uh, what do I got for space? I got one space. Well, let's get a... Uh, let's get one of those guys. All right. Look at you, it even kind of fits. You can have him in there, that's fine. To have a couple little barricades, so in case, uh, in case we got uh, to cordon off a space for some reason, we have the means to do so. There we go. Nice little uh, bit of storage in there. Let's maybe... There we go. Alright. Uh, head. Gotta have a big giant head with one big eyeball. He's watching you. This guy right here knows who's uh, stealing from the bartender. Better make sure you tip your bartender with him around. Alright. That was the correct choice. Very nice indeed. And I think that was the correct choice too. Just a little table in there, we can put some items on it. Not really sure why we would have a pail in there, but you never know. something like this with a chair kind of like that 
And we call that good for this dude, this person's room. Minus. So they both have, uh, they do, don't they? I suppose we could leave that. Maybe there'll be a few other small nicks and knacks that we put in there, but that looks pretty okay. All right, you guys. Can I fit this big bad boy right here? Or is it too tall? I think it might work. We can figure out something to put in on that. I think that works just fine. That was going to be wall locker, so I'll leave that be for now. Uh, might need a thing or two down here. Oh, the floor is not finished. That bugs me when it does that. Alright, we're probably going to need the bigger stuff here, like the kit, the big kegs and all that stuff, but we can probably put some things down. Oh, I 17 of these. We'll wait on that. I'm going to get the big kegs over here. We could also stack some benches, things of that nature. That'd work fine, I think. Okay, what do we got here? Let's see. We can stack those benches, maybe. Let's, uh... Right? That gives us a little bit of just something. Just something to give it some... Some, I don't know, just didn't say quoi, that, that whole... I don't know, just a little bit. Okay. I need the big barrels. Wrong one. I think scaffolding would go well there too. That would help to take. Oh, seat beds. I just saw that. We could do a seed bed.
probably a couple of those pieces. Do that much. Let's see. Maybe there would be a ladder or two ladders. Couple railings. Already got that. Alright, let's go see what we can do with. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's get some benches. Yeah, alright, that should be good for us to get some decoration down in that storage space area that's in the hallway that really doesn't do anything but be an expanded hallway. So let's make it do something. That's not too bad. All right, now well, it's gonna snap, or it's gonna snap, and that's uh, that's what we got for it. Okay, snap or snap. Bucket on it. Like that. Leave that alone. Ladders. back when I wish you know the topic is we wish I wish we could lean the ladders I don't remember the top of the ladders having that little wooden piece that sticks out huh interesting well, don't know how I never saw that that. Uh, too big in here to do this, or can I still do this? Mm, ladder's going to be a jerk, isn't it? No, the, the fact that, it, well, I think it is the ladder. Let's find out if it's a ladder. It is not. It is the sit. Dang it. Ever since they added sit to those, it doesn't work very well anymore. of all those. So that looks good. Just a, a nice little storage space as we're walking by. Very nice. Other than maybe some wall treatments and a little bit of extra stuff on this, 
maybe a few knickknacks on this guy here. I think the uh, prison jail area is good. So I like the wall lockers. I like that. We'll put some books and stuff on there. We'll be light on the books. Maybe put uh, a little bit of dishes right there. Here we'll put some dishes on that. Maybe, maybe, let's put a little thing up here. That storage area is a perfect opportunity for a prison break. <laughs> what? What happened? Everything got knocked over. Run, run, run. <laughs> a distraction, as they would call it. See, that can all go up. Nope. This one. Alright, put you back. Put you back. I'm sure I'm going to need more wooden crates, so we will take some more. This one? My brain isn't working. Where the hell? There they are. Alright, so there's that. Let's put these benches up. We'll finally have a little bit of space in our bag. Alright. So we need to take a look at some of the stuff that there is and see if there's anything that we can use to fill up spaces better. That could be a menu on the bar. Here's some knickknacks that we can put around. <laughs> this can be a, a gross so let's do two of them. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, like like uh, meat they were getting ready to prepare or something like that. Is it just those? It is. Same and probably same. Yes, sir. Okay. Can I find a place for that? It's just so different to try to find a place to put that thing. And then these are nice and all, but ooh, they take up a lot of space. I could put one down and have it empty. It could be part of that storage spot. Alright. Let's do a couple of these for the upstairs. 
of the what are they called? <clears throat> the barracks. It's just fireplaces. Lights. Okay, regular banners. Let's take some handful there. And let's go down and place some around. We need to go check at some point on our uh, glade and see how well our new things are growing. Is there anything we're placing up in here to... Sorry, bros, but you get cheap furniture. Okay, let's see if I can even do this. Nice. Dishes. I forgot to bring dishes. Okay. That's fine. Leave it like that. All right. I was going to put the other thing over here. So this jobby figure is just in storage. Have tempted to get in there, grab that bucket, and stick the bucket on top of here. Let's see if I can grab this bucket. There we go. Storage. Couple jewelry boxes. There we go. Now this thing, we figure maybe we got some jewelry boxes from somebody. We're storing their goods. We got contraband. Some booze contraband that we we uh, got from them. And then we'll get some dishes for that dude. This guy, I think, might be able to put him into that as the, uh... Hmm. It's almost going to have to be in the end, isn't it? It is going to have to be in the end. Okay. And that'll be the menu. Come up. Ah, oh, yeah, menu's on the corner. I can dig it. They come up, they look through the menu, they order, they sit down. There you go. Now we gotta have a a bucket of this is what I want to fit underneath there. Here's our bucket of meat that we're using to serve with. Maybe it's back here. Yummy meat. 
But then in this one, I kind of wanted I kind of want it inside that this prison cell here. But that means I have to take it apart to do it. Uh, I could take apart one of these low. No, I can't because it's going to want make me take the top out. Okay, let's see if I can. Nope, that's that. That's the roof. Oh man, they really have got to get this figured out. Bummer. Because it would look cool and gruesome in there if we had a... I can't, I can't get through this if I do it either. Can I even get up there anymore? There we go. Yeah, but what's it picking up? Now it looks like it's picking up the other thing. Okay, you know what? Scrap that, because uh, I don't know how well I'm going to get it to work, and I don't want to mess it up. Screw it. We'll put the second one over here, because it kind of looks like it's meat, and that's our grill. Alright, so we need some... Some salt and pepper out here. <laughs> Maybe. I'm sorry, what the hell? Alright, let's see if I can get that from floating in midair. Okay, that was interesting. Go to this side then. There we go. We got our salt and pepper on that one. These guys get double salt. I don't know why. They get double salt. And you get nothing. And I'll put a couple over here. Maybe another set down here. There we go. Now we got some table servings. Very nice. This little jewelry thing. That kind of look, that'll look nice, I think. Right there. And then maybe right here. About the same level. <coughs> Excuse me, let me grab a drink. Boxes. Definitely need more boxes around. 
I don't think the bathroom needs any boxes. You got boxes good, you got boxes good, but you don't have any boxes. Now you got some boxes. It's kind of a uh, floaty hovery, isn't it? Get back up there. Alright, so we got boxes there. Let's uh, go take a look at the glade and see if it's done any better now that uh, we have pruned all the trees away. Much to my chagrin. Do you need any boxes? What about you? Do you guys need boxes? I think we're good in here. Okay. Let's go take a look. I mean... That's not bad. So that's grown, that's grown, that's not grown yet. Not grown. That is. That is. Not grown yet, not grown yet. You are. Alright, so most of it's grown. Not 100% yet. But that's not too bad. It's kind of, kind of enchanted glade-like, you know? It's... Like her, her little downstairs, hidden secret garden kind of jobby, where we've got some pretty nice display from the, the luminescent growth. She's growing stuff here. Yeah. It doesn't have the trees, that kind of bums me out, but that's not bad. I think it looks all right. Uh, let's see, do I have anything to put in here? Not really. You're there, okay. All right, let's start working on the column over there. Getting these columns the same. going to be four. So that's there. So it's two over and four down. Oh. Oh, you're in the way, buddy. Okay. Grab you. Really? Jerk. You made me go to all that length just to grab you. need to move that one too and center it. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, nope. Oh, okay. 
fun. How high am I going? I'm going up to the line. Like on the line, okay. That's good enough. Now, we need four down, two out from the deck. out four or does that come up three Right, and then I went in. Okay. I missed that entirely. That's four, step in one, come out again. No. The art of controlling one's jumps. Okay. So that doesn't come out any further than the base, which is four, and that's already there. So, how much I stuck this out here is actually false. Alright. Actually, no. So is... Wait, what? I'm going to have to go over there, because for some reason, my brain isn't working about whether that's three or four blocks. That's because it's three blocks, and I'm dumb. All this I just put on is just no, no. This part in. Look at that. Hey, now we got something that looks alike. And I stepped it inward. Okay, so we come from that part. I step it in one here. This doesn't seem right at all. One, two, so it's five. It's five, then it steps up one. That's what I did. It steps up one on the outside. 
did not make that jump. This one right here steps up one, which means this is incorrect. That is incorrect. And this That looks more correct now. Still missed it. It definitely looks better. Man, it sounds like that goat is inside. Crazy. Okay. Right, so it's flat across and it has one on either side sticking down and then it goes Oh, I think I'm missing that too. It goes up one right there. Yep, missing that too. Okay. room to move it, maneuver or see what I'm doing <laughs> so then bringing that up one means all of this is still wrong by one because it's like that now we have the height and everything. So we need, what should I use? Copper? Yes, copper. And I did it without the. Okay. Copper it is. Snap on. There we go. All right, so we have double balcony now. Let's go out front and look from the main vantage point. Make sure they look right. They do look correct. Very nice. Except this side over here looks one higher for some reason. But I'm on the same level. All right, this came down one. Nope, this came down two. Well, I'm not changing that whole floor to make it come down two. That's way too much. So that side's one block higher, and that knowing it is going to drive me crazy. Oh, God, just kill me. I suppose I could take this and, and step down one into the balcony. <laughs> oh, why did I have to look... <laughs> this is like I could have just left it alone and it been fine I'm not going out there and deal I'm not changing it I keep saying it I keep telling myself over that in my head and I'll probably end up changing it anyway <laughs> alright let's fix these bye for you Alright, let's flesh this a little better. Oh, I can't reach it.
Alright, now let's see if I can reach it. Hot damn. Now we have a column on both sides that goes all the way down. We've got our columns on the main bridge that are not finished. we got our columns on these sides that are not finished. We should finish these columns. I can't reach. Okay. Let's get a platform going. Um, I don't think I should have that part right there. be consistent. Is that missing a piece inside? It's just not red. No, nope, wrong one button. It's just not the red tile. That's the problem. Yeah. Alright. So this is going to be three wide. Okay. It's a big damn column. Okay, so if we're going to do this as a column, then I'm not going to do the bridge portion right there. Because we're not going to need this. No reason to support it here when it's supported on either side. The whole structure is supported on either side. Can you get rid of this? to this. I think I'm going to taper this back here on this spot right here. Just like that. Let's taper it back a little bit. It's a bit chunky. Can't lie, it's just a bit chonky. Having the fire right next to your face while you're trying to build is annoying because hey, that's not wrong. Because the the uh, the occlusion from the I guess it's the smoke, the smoke effect makes it kind of annoying. That's fine. We'll leave it like that. I'll put some scroll detail in it, probably. It'd be awful narrow if I did it here. I'd probably do it on just one side. Maybe... One, two, three... There. Okay. 
likely we'll just continue that all the way down to wherever it goes. And then we'll leave the inside like it is. And now we'll do this side. Alright, back to this. Nope, wrong one. I'm gonna have to use this one. This one, one, two, three, right here. Yeah. All right. So now we got both our side pillars, our two front got a little bit of scrolling detail to them, make them look a little nice. Wait, we're that all done. These guys are still fine like they are. Everything's fancy there. Okay. Oh, the task of doing all the side work is going to be it's going to be something that's for sure I need to put like a mat back here or something for them for the uh, quote unquote bartender to stand at it'll be oh man so when they so update 4 we do know Okay, let me phrase this. They have told us that we're going to be able to either recruit or save villagers. Um, what did they call them specifically? Townsfolk. So maybe we'll be able to bring someone that... I mean, I, I believe it's just going to be busybody... Um, like, NPCs that are just there, they're, they're background characters, they don't do anything. Like, I don't think we're going to be able to go out and hire a bartender from out in the world to come here that we saved from a cage of a scav camp or something, and then we're going to come up and we're going to be able to buy mead and various things from them and, and buffs and all that. I don't think it's going to go that far. But then it would turn this into a semi-lively space because we could have a character that stands back here, maybe they pace a little bit, maybe a character out here, and that's our, quote, waiter, waitress, and then maybe a character over here is the jailer, you know, that kind of thing, that could really add some 
very interesting touches to the game that we don't currently have. Which I think is going to be fantastic. Alright, so... I will ask this before we call this. I, I'm, I would say I'm 95% there with the sides and all that stuff. Minus just really nitpicky detail type of stuff. What should we do with this? So we have this big damn thing. And I don't know what to do with it. I do want to go deeper. I know that much. I don't want to go like as deep as that is. This thing is just way, way, way too deep. There's there's no way, I, no way I have the patience to dig that much. I mean, I say that, and I dug all this whole damn thing out, and that's probably even more than going down there. But, what should we do with this? My previous thought on it is we dig down to some depth, whatever. Enough that when you're up here, or even more you're up here and you're looking down it ha it has a fighting arena so but what what would that entail because there is no PvP and we can't spawn NPCs for them to fight yet we you know that might happen in the future but yet we can't spawn them so my only thought was just make it deep enough that we can fill it up with environmental effects that make it look like it is the hollow halls, minus the fact that we can't actually do the hollow halls. Like, the bone piles could possibly be some of the mycelium blocks placed around in kind of a pile-looking thing, and then we could take our pickaxe and kind of damage it so it kind of looks like a pile of of uh, bones and we can't really do the that ectoplasm stuff that's in there that's not going to work nor is the red kind of that glowy it not the red shroud but the other red stuff they have in there we can't really do that either so I, I don't know I'm just kind of what, what I do think is I don't really want to do any more than just this space. Like, I don't want to go laterally anymore. I can't go that way anymore uh, because of the boundary. And I don't really want to go that way other than maybe a few little bits. Like, when we go down far enough, you could have, say, an opening that has, like, a caged front on it. And it's all dark inside because it doesn't really go anywhere. But it goes back, like, I don't know, four meters or something. So it looks like there's ways to go in different directions down here, even though there really isn't anything. It's it's uh, like a matte painting for a movie, so it's just for show. But yeah, if, if people want to... I mean, fighting Arena, I'm down for trying to come up with something. I don't know how I'm going to represent like NPCs and stuff, other than a few of the ways I know how to do with the... clipping the, the trophy heads over the... Scarecrow or the mannequins. We could do a little bit of something with that. They'd be at enough of a distance that it would kind of look like things are fighting. Maybe. Du dueling, kind of. Um, but yeah, if, if people want to think about it, I, I'm gonna, I'll be doing this again tomorrow, same thing. Uh, I am going to play Sunken Land with my buddy again tomorrow, earlier evening. So, what would be like a twofer? We'll do that for, for a handful of days or a week or so, because we're having fun with the new patch. But get, get, think about it, and let me know tomorrow. Uh, we'll work on this space. I'll, I'll be doing a lot of digging, so it might be a little boring tomorrow, to be fair. But, uh, yeah, let me know what you think. I appreciate you guys for coming in, and we'll see you tomorrow.